What's up, everybody, and welcome to my TNA Impact Wrestling Review. A lot of big things happen on the show tonight, so let's kick it off. As Dixie Carter came out, pretty much telling AJ Styles that about the one night only contract and everything. Pretty much saying it's going to be a, dis, a no disqualification match for the TNA World Title tonight, since there can only be one champion and everything. So. She says, it's only, you got told AJ you need to come out here and sign this one night only contract and stuff. And Styles pretty much mocked her and says, she didn't care if it was a no DQ because he's got a lot of friends in the back and he knows what her tricks are going to do and stuff. And Dixie pretty much went on saying like, I fit, I've been feeding your family for over 11 years and stuff with the check she's given. So... She says you were going to lose that title tonight, and Magnus pretty much came out here calling him a paper champion and everything. So he's clawed his way all the way up to the top of the mountain to where he is now, and he has no intention of losing the title. And, um, uh, and pretty much uh, Magnus looked at him and pretty much got out of the ring then and style signed the contract. Pretty much ending off saying about his lip, all you do is have his, your lips on your head. As Dixie, his lips on your ass and everything, pretty much, because uh, he's just pretty much a kick it, a kiss ass. Then, uh, Eric Young and Joseph Park went against uh, the Bromans. As Dixie Carter was talking in the back to Lady Top uh, and Gail Kim, and then she was talking to the Bromans. Then, pretty much, um, as the match went on, Eric Young was going at him until they showed the back. Gail Kim and Lady Topper were attacking ODB and Eric Young went to help her and then pretty much the bromance beat up Joseph Park then took a guardrail and slammed him on the guardrail then pretty much he had to be taken to the hospital and Eric Young had to get ODB to the hospital then because Sting was looking and he knew it was Dixie pulling off her tricks again pretty much um also Samoa Joe pretty much talked Dixie Carter saying like it's not gonna go down like this he knows the tricks and there's a whole bunch of guys in the locker room that want to take him out that will do anything to help AJ Styles night to still retain the TNA World Championship. Storm came out, James Storm calling out Gunna about how they were team and how it was broken off then and got and he told them about the briefcase because any of them will want to become the world champ heavyweight champion. And pretty much Storm challenged Gunner to a ladder match for the title. And then Gunner pretty much shook hands and went with it. I don't know why people do this when they have these briefcases and then put them on the line knowing that half the time they're going to lose the briefcase then. So why? I don't know. But that's how I was going to go down with that because I guess next week it will be a title match then. Uh, Ethan Carter the third. Went against Samoa Joe. E EC3 attacked Samoa Joe in the back and they fought to the front then. Joe was pretty much about to hit hit the win until Rockstar Spud came out. And he went after Rockstar Spud, but he came behind for with a wrench then. EC3 pretty much ended in disqualification then. No contest. All they got the damage done on Samoa Joe by injuring him in his leg. So pretty much the goal was to take out all of AJ Styles' friends for whoever would even try to help AJ Styles. Then they showed in the back, uh, pretty much had to get Joe out of there because Joe had an MRI, so it didn't look like he was going to do much. And then Sting found Gunner and Storm in the back, knocked out from beer bottle stuff, and he told Dixie this is her plan, and Dixie said she had nothing to do with this and everything. And told Sting, you need to worry about your match tonight. That's all you need to worry about. Kurt Angle went against Bad Influence, pretty much jobbing out Bad Influence in a way. Why, I don't know. To, I guess, hype up the match next week against Bobby Roode, because Bobby Roode had him go against Bad Influence. It was cool to see Kurt Angle do that Jeremy suplex off the rope on Daniels, and then throw him into in, uh, Kazarian, then. So, yeah. Because uh, I don't know why they even did this match. Pretty much bad influence job out. And then Bobby Roo in the back went in the back to talk to Dixie Carter and Dixie Carter said your match is gonna be against Sting in another cage match. So it'll be a two cage matches tonight. And Bobby was like, What? Sting And but the Sting the whole him overreacting over Sting was funny though, I'll say that. Rude went against Sting, but then pretty much once again E C three and Rockstar Spud came out. And they threw some type of nightstick in there. Even though 
I don't know why they're hiding from the ref into no disqualification anyway in a cage match. Pretty much threw it in there, hit Sting, and Rude pretty much picked up the win then. Uh, well, Rude walked out the cage and won the match then against Sting. Sting was still able to get up. Bully Ray, or the new Bray Wyatt, he had Anderson come talking about, I could do what I did to you last week. You could get burned and stuff. And talked about forgiving, because if he burns you, to forgive him would be two weeks. So he has next week at Genesis, it's going to be Bully Ray versus Mr. Anderson then. And he told Anderson to go look in the casket, because he put his colors in there. Since Anderson put the the aces and eights colors, he put some towels or some type of blankets or whatever it was. I don't know why. Um, it was something. I guess it was like blankets and everything. For Anderson, so first he's now bully. Now he's and he's like now he's Bray Wyatt, like how Ryback copies Bully Ray. Now Bully Ray can copy Bray Wyatt. Now I thought he was gonna be like another new AJ Styles wearing all black, but it looks like it's more of a Bray Wyatt type of thing going. Except he's not trying to have nobody join a cult. And as we move to the main event, AJ Styles versus Magnus, winner take all, no disqualification. For the World Heavyweight Championship. Pretty much first you got EC3 and Rockstar Spud attacking through the match. And then you get Sting coming out. He comes out to help then. Pretty much it's everybody in the ring attacking each other then. Then I didn't know what you got the bro man and Zima Ion coming out. Zima Ion's doing tornado DDTs and everything. And uh, the numbers are just getting out out of place and everything and pretty much they were tag beating up Sting and Sting was the only one trying to help out then nobody else didn't even come out because Kurt Angle had to get a plane and go somewhere else Snow drove him and pretty much the tight and and pretty much Eric um, Earl Hebner didn't even want to do the match anymore Earl um, Hebner he pretty much pushed Rockstar Spud to the ground and knocking him out the way and he left, and then and Dixie Carter brought down his son Brian Ebner. And then, as the match went on, everybody's still interfering. Bad Influence comes out next. And Magnus looks like he didn't do anything throughout the entire match. Bad Influence comes out. AJ's pulling Pele kicks and everything. And, and then beating up Brian Ebner. Bad Influence throwing him out the ring. And they, hell, they nearly killed the cameraman out there throwing Zima Ion so hard into the cameraman. Knocked him on the ground and he nearly knocked the lens cap off of him. So, they killed the cameraman. Sting and AJ. AJ and Sting. AJ's pulling off springboard moves on Bad Influence. Saving Earl Hebner pulling Pele kicks. Taking out the bro man. Sting doing double scorpion death drops and everything. Sting was the only one out there helping AJ. It was pretty much like a 10 on 2 match. And then AJ was about to do a something off the top rope until Bobby Roode came out and pushed him off. And he had three Death Valley drivers on him. And pretty much the end result was Magnus winning the world title since it was a 2 on 10 match. So I guess AJ will get a rematch at Genesis next week. This match was so all over the place. Magnus didn't do anything. He didn't even hit the finish and move on him. And it was more like, it wasn't even that good of a heel. It was a pretty much a chicken shit heel almost. Like, did this, did this benefit anybody in this match? Sure, it was crazy and the crowd went bananas. But what did Undisputed title mean to anybody? What was the benefit for Magnus? What? You had help from every heel in the company just to win? And he wasn't even like a heel that just talks and then says what they're gonna do and get in the ring and that confident about it this was just him hiding outside the ring the entire time while everybody else did all the work he didn't even hit a finishing move everybody Bobby Roode hit like three Death Valley drivers and he just picked up the win they really killed the cameraman guy in the process and AJ's just pulling off crazy moves stings going at him and I didn't know who was gonna run out next I was hoping somebody was gonna help come help sting you couldn't bring them out. Everybody was injured or taken out by Dixie Carter and them, so I didn't know who else was going to come out and help. Well, I don't know. This roster feels so limited now for some reason. I was wondering who was going to step out. No Jeff Hardy, none of them, so it was... Wow. I'm glad they can't leave in Orlando. It's, uh, it's always cool to see them at Universal Studios, but now they're going to be going, I believe, I think Alabama next week or somewhere for the Genesis pay-per-view so what a
crazy main event, I'll say that. I didn't expect that much to be in a no qualification match. To so much interference and didn't even really benefit Magnus of winning the title. So, all I can say is comment, subscribe, you know, it's me, it's me, the HWOD News and Reviews. Tell me what you even thought about this TNA Impact episode. This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen in a while. That's actually held some type of interest to in me for TNA to be this hype, but a very entertaining match, I'll say that. So comment, subscribe, you know it's me, it's me, the HWOD, come here, the news and reviews, you know what I am, you know what I do. We are done here today with this review of TNA. So I'm out of here. Tell me what you really thought about this episode of Impact Night. I want you all to comment and subscribe. What do you really think about this TNA Impact show tonight, especially with the new world, I guess, new world champion or something, and what are they going to do with AJ, because AJ's supposed to be fighting the Ring of Honor, so I don't know if AJ's going to be back with the company, AJ's going to get a rematch next week, so we'll see, I don't know what's going to happen next, so I'm out of here, I'll see you guys later, peace.